Well, it is adventure time yet again. Um, here's my good friend Mike. We're gonna go after some golden trout in Wyoming. Um, it's kind of slacking on the video. I had four trips filmed, and I found out three of the last four I had accidentally turned on the mic on this thing, so I have no sound on any of them. So they're useless. One of the trips was pretty awesome, so I'll be sure to have the mic turned off on this one, so we get into. Try to get some good footage, hopefully. All right, we're about to start our hike. I'm here with my buddy Mike. Um, it's pretty rare that he gets to do this thing because he's a wildland firefighter and he works during the summer, all summer. So all summer. But he was able to make it work. So we're in Wyoming. We're going after some goldens and possibly some ginormous brook trout, but probably goldens. I don't know. It's the brook trout have been dwindling over the years, but we, hopefully, hopefully we can get into one or two. Um, with the same area last year, it's a super fun area. I've been to this area, area in Wyoming more than any other area, just because you know it's potential big fish and multiple species. So um, we got a I don't know a five or six mile hike to go to the first spot, and then it's gonna be a good time. You ready? Yeah, yeah. let's do it, man. Yeah, let's go. Let's go yeah, it's freaking beautiful. We're not, not yeah, it's pretty. We're not. Not quite halfway, we've been hiking for a while. Passed a bunch of little ponds and lakes on the way. You know, we still have quite a bit of uphill to go. That's what you get when you want to get go for golden though, you gotta get high. Yeah. You tired? <laughs> no. I feel good, man. Yeah, this guy's got 10 years, I'm 10 years older than him and it's showing because it, he's kicking my A, <laughs> he's kicking my butt. Whatever, dude, you're doing awesome. Yeah, anyways, better get to it, huh? Ah, so we made it. We're setting up the camp. Our very first trip in here many, many years ago, me and my buddy dug this spot out. Spent hours doing it. And we've been camping ever since. Uh, only one other time we had someone come and say, oh, this is our spot. Try to they actually tried to tell us that they dug it out. I was like, that's interesting because we're the ones that dug it out years ago. But um, So we're going to camp. Brought my Marmot Ajax 3. three it's three person. It's really an awesome two person. Unless you want to be shoulder to shoulder. So, But we made it. We set up camp. Put some rods together and try to catch some goldens. Okay, so... Fine, ready to go. We're gonna do a loop of several lakes. Um, well, two main lakes we wanna hit, but we got about five hours before we we'll have to head back. So I don't know. We hope we hope we get into some fish. I think we will. Hopefully, here we go. Yep. Well, we are here. I apologize for the wind noise. This GoPro does not have a windsock, and we are in a flipping hurricane up here. It's, actually calmed down a little bit it was nuts a few minutes ago but we're gonna try to catch us some golden trout of course can't get my camera on time just had a pretty decent one on with the floaty mega orange though and the wind sorry for the wind there's nothing I can do about it uh, on my other rod I got Mike right here He's watching it I got a balanced mega orange scud and a balanced regular size 12 scud underneath that get ready to pump water apparently i had a take but we didn't get to it at a time which seems to usually be the case if i'm not holding the rod <laughs> well gotta pump some water we are thirsty there's a crap ton of golden right here oh you got denied oh it's done it oh yahoo Nice one. So, oh, oh, gosh, dang it. Within the olive gray balance. Oh, that was a chunk, too. Dang it. Another little chunk on a snow cone. Hmm. Smaller fish. I will take it. Definitely fat goldens in here. Oh, I'm 
got off on his own. Chunky well, little guy. Just hooked a solid golden, really pretty one on a on a snow cone coronamid. Man, he's pretty. I was gonna tell you to come back so I could switch you up, but you just you, you couldn't hear me either. Dude, this is a nice one. This is a pretty, pretty gold. That is a nice gold right there. I might have you help me out with this. Film this guy. He's a big. He's a nice one. This will be the nicest gold I've ever landed out of here. If 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 I land him. Oh, that's an, oh, that's a salt land. That's a tank of a gold on a snow cone. I'm going to skim back in the water. And that's a good, that's a good, probably 18 inch gold. That's a nice, nice, nice gold. We've, uh, man, these golds have been pickier than they've ever been. Uh, Scud's usually the ticket. I've got some takes on scuds. I've got a couple on a floating mega worm scud that floats. I'm gonna use a weighted uh, streamer below it. Um, a fat, you know, mega worm scud, regular, regular scud, but as far as landing fish, one line of three on a snow cone coronamid. This guy is a, that is a solid golden. This is the biggest golden I've ever landed out of this particular lake. I am happy about that guy. It's nice male. I've seen a couple a little bigger, but I'm happy with that guy. Yeah, that's <laughs> that is a nice golden. Happy about that guy. Yeah, buddy. Swim away, buddy. Thanks. Happy about that. It's been a slow day. Another golden on the snow cone. engulfed it but now it's inside of it now yeah I'll take him the snow cone that's falling apart nice little meal hey buddy is doing very well as far as getting hits very poorly as far as keeping fish on our fishing portion of the day has come to an end it's now time to cook the food and we're doing something a little different two weeks ago i tried something out and it turned out fantastic uh another backpacking trip unfortunately the sound was turned off on my camera i didn't know so the trip's useless but i did come up with something good and here's what i came up with freezing steaks and then stick them in the middle of your pack wrapped in a jacket so they keep insulated they were still frozen oh these are cowboy ribeyes i put in two ziploc bags so it doesn't make your jacket stink that'd be a bad idea but we packed in a little mini grill we are having ribeyes this guy's excited about it Thank you. we're gonna do some mashed potatoes as well we just need to get some coals yeah yep well worth packing it in. This one is for Mike. There you go. Yeah. Cowboy ribeye on a backpacking trip. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, it's turning out good. So you wanna go half and half, Steve? You know, we're making the mashed potatoes. They're instant, but that's as good as you're gonna get in the backcountry.
We just get crazy. Right. Uh huh. Ribeye and potatoes. Mm. That's a pretty darn good backcountry meal, if I do say so myself. Hell yeah. And there's mine. Very excited. Smells great. Mike said it was great, so it's gonna be delicious. Well, it's day number two. Last night was ridiculously windy. I was afraid my tent was gonna collapse. Still windy. Tying it off everywhere we could. Sit. The golds in the main lake we went to were. Sorry about the wind. Now we're gonna take off. Hope we get, hope we get some fish. Maybe some. Maybe we'll go try to catch a big brook trout. But I don't know. Here we go. Yeah, we are about halfway to our destination. Already tired. It's a push. Yeah, yeah. Well, have a good time. Hope we get some more fish today. Yesterday were they were ridiculously picky. We're gonna get into some. There's a seriously a bunch right in this tiny little pocket. Oh, do it, do it, do it. Oh, got Yahoo! Oh, nice one. On the balance, good. The balance, good. Oh, we're. If it'll stay, oh, he's a, he's a chunk. Let's see if he actually stays. Oh, come on. There's a whole bunch schooled right in that pocket. Oh, that's a really pretty one. Oh, wow, that's gorgeous. Now, that is a pretty golden. That is a nice golden. You don't see him? To your right, that pocket right there in front of you. 10 feet in front of you. Oh, dude, that's a gorgeous golden. Gorgeous. Uh, the, a balance, all, the, a balance, but the color you have on. That is one pretty golden. Happy about that. That's the first one I've knitted with, with the, the balance scud. Same thing is like the fasting and I just tie it to put under indicator, but I was getting way more takes with it yesterday than a regular one. Just couldn't land one. Yeah, that is one pretty golden trout. Well, we got a double. Put them both in net. Hey, nice! Two pretty goldens. I think that's Mike's first landed fish of the trip. Yeah. On a, his, a, he has cut his on a regular fast and he's good. Here, hold the net and I'll pop it. Keeping the water. I'll have you. Look, that's a one pretty golden trout. Yeah, it is. Thinking's good. Yeah, good to go. Nice. I have had multiple people ask me what I use if I would show more, show what I use, and I did this on the trip, but it was so windy you couldn't hear what I was saying. Um, I'm sorry, this camera does not zoom, so if I if I get close, it kind of blurs them out, but. Uh, these are what I use in the backcountry more often than not. This, these are what I was using on this trip. Um, I got 
there's a lot of different scud patterns. The most common one I use is just called a fast inking scud, which would be that guy right there, that olive gray. Um, it's just money. It's a rich off pattern. Uh, another one of his patterns is this guy right there. It's called a mega orange scud. It has a shiny back. Uh, awesome fish deep for brook trout and just other big species. In fact, I, most of the big fish I catch are on that orange one, fish deep. Uh, I've kind of switched up, switched it up a little bit, and I've tied a couple other versions of it. Um, the second one from the top, this this guy right there, is a a balanced version of it. It's good under an indicator. I've, I've had quite a few takes on it. I tied that big foam version at the very top. Um, I actually tied it for Pyramid Lake, but it's been really good for brook trout. You hang it like two and a half feet above like a weighted leech or something like these guys over here, like balanced leeches. And every time you strip it, it pauses, it floats up and it gets a lot of takes when it's floating up. Um, as far as balanced minnows and leeches, uh, I use like a like a lead bolt weight to balance them out and it's it's very versatile because like that's just a standard balanced leech with the cone head it gets a nice profile and then I just use like cheap Walmart nail polishes different colors to match the color but you can take the lead weight with the pliers and flatten it so for the minnow I just take the lead weight and flatten it and then I glue the eyes on and you know twist it, it gives it a you know kind of a head profile and like that's a, a balanced damsel fly and same thing, I just take the lead weight and smash it flat, and then it gives it a nice flat head, kind of like a damsel. And then when it's balanced out, it, you know, it just kind of hangs uh, horizontal in the water and gives it a, a natural, uh, you know, presentation. So anyways, these are the flies I use. Uh, the scud, that right there, the middle one, is what I use more than anything else. The, the pink version works well for goldens and grayling, especially grayling. Um, on this lake, I was getting tons of takes on that one on the top. The balance scud. I'm, I'm sorry it's blurred out. I won't zoom. So, but uh, I don't know. It's the angle of the hook. I didn't land very many fish on it. For how many takes I was getting, I didn't land very many. But um, the first day, like including the biggest one I caught, was actually on this uh, snow cone coronamid. The second day, they wouldn't even look at it. But anyway, those are the fly patterns that I used on this trip and that I use more often than not in most, you know, alpine lakes. So there you go. Yeah. I just caught, I don't know what I got. I have, I have a balanced scud dropped with a coronamid. Oh, he's foul hooked. Shoot. He foul hooked with the coronamid. Oh well, it happens. Now, don't like to foul hook him, but oh well, it happens. Nice, what am I caught on? Caught on everything. Shoot. Don't like that to happen, but it does in fact happen, so sorry about that buddy. Got a buttload below me, but they're being really picky. Oh, oh shoot, I had one. I had one. I don't know what it was. Which one it took. I'm using. I have a balanced scud and a chronomid. Like with the cute, pretty little golden trout on the fast sinking scud. Here, you know what that is? Oh, that's a pretty one. Oh, he's a chunky little guy. Oh, well, that's pretty. Man, that's a chunky little gold draw. He's got a sweet little hump on his back. Hey, got a oh. It's alright. He's caught Easy. three while we got separated. Yeah, I should have waited for you. Yeah. Mike with a nice chunky golden. And it's funny, the regular fast think he's good is definitely outperforming. The balanced. A good one too. Grab the net. Uh, chunky guy. Nice little golden trout.
Patty. That little guy. He's pretty. Yeah. Yeah, he's fat. There's one chunky little golden trout. Ice grip. Oh, he got off. Yeah. That's a chunky little guy. I'm just gonna see. Yeah. <laughs> Wants to stay in the net. There he goes. Well done. Well done, Mike. Mike with the good one. And I'm definitely switching to an olive gray because I've gotten no love. Mike has gotten pretty consistent love. It's a good one. Yeah, hold on one second. Okay, it's a good fish. Or do you just want to come over and I'll bring him to you? Go over to the top. Did he get off? Nope. He's a fatty. Oh, yeah, that's a chunk. That's a chunky gold, man. Nice. Nicely done. Beautiful. Yeah, it's above the eye actually. So hopefully I can do this without getting his eye. There you go. That is a chunk. Good fish, man. Well done, Mike. That is a chunk, dude. Well then, nicely done. Right, I'm go. That fatty little golden. Back with another guy. He's in the magical spot. They're chunky. He's a chunk. Well done, Mike. He's like five in a row and me zero. Kind of fast eating scud. Oh, these, these foul hooks? Oh, what the heck? I like the king of foul hooks. Pushing blind and have, somehow I'm able to foul hook a fish. I apologize for that, buddy. There he goes. Another golden on. Chunky little dude, not terribly big, but spider. Yeah, catching a bunch of these this generation. It's like two, I think two years old. They're chunky. Buddy. Catching baby fish. Oh, that fast sinking's good. But even the baby ones are fat. Yeah. Oh, come on, take it, take it. 
Oh crap, how did I miss? Oh, that's a big one. Dang it, how did I miss that guy? Today has come to an end pretty much. Now it is food time. I am having lasagna with meat sauce, which is good. It is good. And Mike's having chicken and dumplings. I've never had that one. Hopefully it's good. I hope so. I'm hungry. Yeah, so am I. Uh, the fishing today started off slow, but ended up being far better than yesterday. We caught dozens of fish today. It's a good day. Um, for a while there, Mike was killing me. He caught like five fish in a row standing right next to me. I was like, what's the deal? We're using the same thing. But we both caught a lot of fish, including a couple good ones. So it was fun. We we're content. Uh, we didn't catch any huge brook trout, but we didn't really try for them very much. Uh, the Goldens are getting pretty plump into one lake, so it was fun. I had a good time. In the morning, we're going to go down here in the stream and catch a bunch of pretty little river Goldens. We kind of eat the pretty color. Hopefully, we'll catch some of those males that are all brilliantly colored. Then we'll pack up and get the heck out of here. Yep. Yeah, anyways, it was a good day. Enjoy the fire and some food. So. Going after some small stream goldens. Huh, he went for it. Even in the wind, it's hard. There we go. <laughs> Tiny little string going. There we go. Little tiny guy. There you go. Pretty little string going. Oh, I got him. Oh, nice. Oh, he's a pretty one. Really pretty one. On a size 16 weight, it's good. It is a pretty golden. That's a pretty golden trout. Oh, do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh, I had one. Probably should put on an indicator. Oh, little guy. Up on his own. Well, our trip has come to an end. We're all packed up. Uh, took me forever to pack up as usual. I'm slow compared to everybody else. But uh, now yeah, we got quite the hike ahead of us, but it's downhill, so that's a good thing. We had a good time. We caught a lot of golden trout. First day was slow. Second day was fun. We caught some good ones. Caught a bunch in the stream this morning, but we're all with a good time. Yeah, great time. Yeah, so, uh, well, got a, I don't know, about a three hour hike and then long drive home. So thanks for watching. Here we go.